morning, Stampers. It is July, Wednesday, July 3rd. I'm popping in just a, an hour late today because I've had um, a fun morning. Um, went, ran to the bank to pick up euros for our trip. We're leaving on Friday. And so with the holiday, I kind of forgot that Thursday was the holiday. And so I needed to run to the bank this morning and pick up euros and um, drop off some swap cards at a my upline's house. So that's what I did this morning. And then of course, um, we've been kind of running an Airbnb here. <laughs> and not, not literally, but um, a bunch of Denver's friends were here for the last couple of days. And so they just headed out and wanted to say goodbye and, you know, so that's, that's my morning. So good morning, Ruby. It's going to be a great day today. I've got, um, as soon as I'm done with Facebook Live and the girls are ready, they want to go ride horse again today. So that's on the agenda. We tried last night, um, got a real quick ride in before the storms hit and um, stayed dry, but I was a little worried the entire time because there was some thunder that was kind of freaking this old lady out. and. You know, but anyway, so a um, couple of things that I need to tell, a couple of housekeeping things that I need to tell you about. Make sure that you um, like my Facebook page because hopefully we'll be um, sharing some fun um, things from the cruise and for from our trip after. Um, so the plan is the Stampin' Up trip is the Greek Isles this year, and so I leave. For, we leave um, Adria, my aunt Marcia, and I leave on Friday um, for Rome. And we will pick up the ship on Sunday and we will cruise the Greek Isles. Got a, several different excursions planned. And then once we get back into port on the following Sunday, um, we are catching a train. Uh, actually, we're taking the shuttle back to Rome and I'm driving. <laughs> a little nervous about that. Um, I am driving and we are going down to um, southern Italy for a week in the... Um, southern part of Italy. Um, we're doing a horseback trip and um, cooking classes. So that's, I've got to, you know, July is going to be fun and can't wait to, um, you know, share some things with that. So make sure that you're, you know, following on my, um, on my Facebook just to see the pictures and, you know, obviously food pictures because that's what it's going to be all about. So um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Uh, don't forget that July 1st started um, our bonus coupon days and um, I'm hoping to get a newsletter out. I've got 48 hours before we're heading down to the airport. So I usually try to cram as much as possible into these 48 hours and I'm hoping to get a newsletter out. And I haven't um, explained bonus days yet, but what it is is um, <clears throat> for every $50 that you spend here in July, you will get a coupon code for $5 off of you know, $5 coupon to use in August. So um, that's always kind of fun. So I know last year that was, was, was great fun. So don't forget that July is coupon days or bonus days. And we also have a new um, special running. Um, it is a, um, a new special. Hey, good morning, mom and dad. I see Jan is here. But anyways, the special in um, July here is, it's called Extra Extra. If you um, purchase a starter kit in here in, um, July or August, from July 1st to August 31st, you will get, are gonna get $30 extra of products. So for $99, you will get $155, and then you will also get a coupon for 10 bucks to use in um, August. So um, that's kind of exciting. Um, and, you know, For those of you that have a nice long wish list, now would be the perfect time to si sign up to um, uh, during this promotion to get a starter kit and um, get a lot of things on your list for uh, at a discount. So don't forget when you sign up to be a demonstrator, instantly 20% um, on any future orders is taken off the top of your order. So for those of you that, you know, have a lot of a lot of things on your list, now would be a good time to do it, just saying. So contact me for more information. And so what I'm gonna do for you today is, um, I think that's all the housekeeping. I don't have any classes until the end of July. Um, I'm hoping today, that's one of the things that I gotta do is get my June's, Pretty Peacock uh, uh, tutorial out and work on July's. And those are two things that have to get done before I leave. So um, that's it. Um, so let me uh, put my specs on and we are going to flip you around and I'm going to show you a little uh, blender tip uh, hack as well as my spot card for um, the cruise. Of course, it's not finished, but it was a card that I shared um, here a couple of weeks ago or last week. It was one that I did in class. It was is with the um, Winds of Change stamp set, and it's it's gorgeous. It's real sweet, and it's um, a Delft blue technique. So I'm gonna flip you around, and we are going to get this show on the road. Let's see. Here. There we go. Does that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. How are we doing? Can we see that? All right. Okay. 
Let's see what we got here. Let's move this down so you can see. And I know where I'm supposed to stamp. All right, so this is the card that we are going to do today. And um, I'm gonna make one modification and I'll show you how that works there. So let's go ahead. This is called Winds of Change. Um, this is a fun little stamp set. It's got a, a bike on the inside. It's got a windmill, it's got tulips. Um, so let me go ahead and show you that. And <clears throat> hold on girls and boys, I have just a real quick thing to show you. Um, so last week, before we get started on this one, last week we did that um, that glycerin technique, remember? So today we're gonna show, show you a, a hack with your blender pens using glycerin. And um, I went ahead and did a card using that Winds of Change and the glycerin technique. Um, and what I did was I stamped it. We, we did the glycerin technique on the background here. And then we went ahead and used the black um, blend to make it look like a shadow. So that one turned out real pretty. Now this one is just the same thing. And I, I went ahead and used the, the yellow blends and um, I need to finish that up. I just haven't done that yet, but that's that glycerin technique from last week and um, using that Winds of Change stamp set. So this was the card that we did in class this week and um, it turned out really cute. What I've done is <clears throat> we're using the blueberry bushel because what um, I, we're Dutch. I, I think a vast majority of my heritage is Dutch. And so I, I love that Delft blue. Um, Holland is definitely, or Netherlands, what, what um, is definitely on my bucket list of things to visit some split time. And so um, this was the card that I did using that Winds of Change. I went ahead and used the tin tile and I only embossed half of the, the, the card stock. You can kind of see that, isn't that pretty? So let's go ahead and stamp this and I'm going to do that in a Delft blue. I am going to put my card stock here going to ink up. I've got my Stamparatus all set up. I'm going to stamp it in the blueberry bushel. Oops, we can't do that. There we go. One with that. Just take a little walk on the wild side. Get that all inked up. Looks good. And I want another one here on the top. So, okay. ink that up. Looking good, looking good. I set this aside and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my snail and I'm going to attach that to the balmy blue. So I've got the little thank you. And, and this is going to be my swap card for the cruise. I'm gonna add that right here. And um, I'm just gonna attach this on the bottom. Good morning, Kaylee. I've got Kaylee here. She's joining me this morning. She's she's going to be, oh, oh, that broke. Okay, no big deal. Just dump it in the garbage and we'll, uh, a, a flower vase broke. She's Ella and Kaylee are supposed to be cleaning up the kitchen and their bedroom so that we can go horseback riding and apparently a vase broke, but um, I do have quite a few left over from the wedding, so I think we're going to be fine, so. All right, now, on my sample card, I did go ahead and emboss that with white with a blueberry bushel. Um, we, you know, on occasion, um, I had a customer that um, accidentally just mixed the white in with the um, with the uh, glitter, and sadly, or not sadly, I mean, it, it, we'll just trash it, it's no big deal, but um, I actually like this better than what I did originally, because this is what it's gonna look like, and I think it looks so much cuter. But anyways, let's show you the technique, I digress. So, um, I am going to just take my blender pen and I am going to mushy the color around here and make it look like it's bleeding. I mean, it'll, it'll be that Delft blue. But I don't know if you're anything like me, on occasion, um, I have blender pens, and as long as the tips, can you see that this blender pen is completely dry? And I don't wanna throw them away. And um, so one of the things that I did recently was I Googled a recipe for um, the, a blender pen, pen refill. I, um, I purchased them in the past from various places, but um, I couldn't find it this morning. And I needed to finish this up for the swap cards. I couldn't find the one blender pen that was uh, was good. So this morning I, you know, was struck by, struck by a good, good idea. Um, I made my own glycerin um, blender pen refill. So that's your little blender pen hack. So I don't know if you ever have blender pens that go dry. This one is as dry as a bone and it's not going to do me any good. So let me just show you how to make your own blender pen refill. Now, 
let's let's talk no your blender pen you know is it going to work as well as your original blender pen no let's be honest it's nothing is as good as the original um will it last as long probably not but will it be good enough to get you through and get a little more mileage out of your blender pen absolutely um you know it's worth it you've already bought the glycerin because i told you to last week and you saw the really cool techniques that we did with it so i'm pretty sure that you probably went out and ran out and got the, the glycerin so now remember why you know let's use it for one more purpose because you should so here's what you're going to do you are going to need um a quarter, and I'll post this recipe um, on the Facebook here. You're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of rubbing alcohol. You are going to need two teaspoons of glycerin and two, four teaspoons of distilled water. Now, of course, at you know six o'clock this morning, I did not have distilled water. I had just regular tap water. Um, the reason that you would wanna use distilled water is because if you're storing this, distilled water is sterile. And so you aren't, you know, it's not gonna mold. It's not gonna have little, you know, EBGBs. And I would be, I would be leave also that any of the, um, you know, like uh, minerals would probably be taken out of there too. So it wouldn't be clogging your blender pen. So when you make yours, make sure you use four teaspoons of distilled water, two teaspoons of glycerin and a quarter teaspoon of rubbing alcohol. And what you're gonna do is you are gonna mix that all together. I've got it in that, um, <laughs> that container of, uh, just a little container. If you have a, a squeeze bottle, that would work too. But what you're gonna do is you, I take the lid off of both ends and I'm gonna take the nib out of one. And actually I'm gonna take the nib out of the other one and I'm just gonna drop it right in there because we want that to soak up. So if you have a squeeze bottle or a, a pipette, that works really well. Again, I did not have those at six this morning. I just had my spoon that I had used to make my concoction here. So what I'm doing is I am just refilling the blender, the, re, the blender pen. And because I'm letting that soak up, I'm gonna just grab that stick that back in and you saw that that was completely dry now watch can you see how that's wet can you see that it it were it is i mean it it works really really well so um you will get you know you will get a lot more mileage um out of your blender pen and as long as the tip isn't wrecked um as long as the tip isn't wrecked you might as well um make yourself a little um Little, see how that works? So here's what we're gonna do with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my blender pen and I'm gonna mushy that color around. And because this isn't waterproof, um, the blue isn't waterproof, um, the blender pen will allow you to um, pull the color from the original stamp stamping into the center and kind of give it that delft blue look. Isn't that cool? So we're just gonna put that there. I'm gonna take some of that just to and again you've taken a blender pen that you probably would have chucked in the in the garbage and you're gonna be able to use it again and again as soon as it you know dries out just take your jar and add some more and you know until the tip goes bad you are in the money isn't that cool fun technique um, I do that a fair a fair amount whenever I'm you know trying to watercolor you know do a soft watercolor or just soften the edges a little bit so let's add some dimensionals to the back of this and put that on the front I'll keep doing some research for other reasons of you know things that you can do with your glycerin <laughs> that bottle is going to go a long 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 ways so you know it'd be good to go ahead and um find some extra uses for that so I, I you know that's that's one of the things that while i'm on vacation i'll i'll be doing some research because i can so we're just going to use the blender pen and mushy that color around here on the bike we just went here here and here and a little bit here and that's the inside Just a real sweet and stinking cute little card there for um, for my swap. Isn't that fun? So again, um, that's that's the um, the watercolor the the blender pen technique, the little hack that I had to share with you um, on how to get a little more mileage out of your blender pens by making the uh, water a blender pen refill. So. 
Thanks again. Um, I have this card to send out to um, a lucky winner. Um, I've got a whole list of them that I need to send out before I leave too, but um, this one, if you share my video or comment, like, whatever, I'll draw from the winners and um, send it out to you. So thanks again, peeps. We will, happy stamping and uh, contact me if you have any questions. Toodles, thanks.